Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the history of fobs. The word fob became associated with the watch chain when it became customary to wear watches on a chain. Its meaning evolved from small pocket to the chain that held the watch. It also refers to the small decorate ornaments that are suspended from the watch chain such as fob seals. Fobs were short straps, ribbons, tassels or chains. Seals were engraved gold attached to fobs used for making a person's signature impression in sealing wax for important documents or other correspondence. Seals were used as early as the 7th millennium BC to stamp impressions in clay. By the Victorian era, most fashionable men wore solid silver or gold watches suspended on chains fixed to their waistcoats and would often be adorned with medals, fobs and intaglio fobs which could be used to stamp. This collectible antique fob features a carnelian base and ornate detailing throughout, modelled in gold, cased metal. The carnelian features an intaglio which reads Mum, a beautiful sentiment for a mother. This rare antique fob looks great as a pendant or on a chain or as a charm on a bracelet. Intaglio fobs are known to date back from ancient Egyptian and Roman times. They became hugely popular in the 18th and 19th century. They were known as ciphers when they were engraved with the monogram and emblem. By the 13th century, the practice of sealing with wax seals was widespread. Easily portable seals were also worn as jewellery. The signet ring dates back to the ancient Egyptian era. The stamp of the signet ring in wax prevented forgeries and thefts. This collectible antique cameo ring features hard stone carved with the cameo of a Roman soldier, modelled in 18 karat yellow gold. Important people, nobles and members of the royal families had their own seals. This quality antique fob is adorned with a carnelian agate and bloodstone agate, modelled in 9 karat solid gold. This fob is extremely unusual as the fob rotates outwards to reveal a watch key originally used to wind up a pocket watch, hallmarked 9CJM. This beautiful antique seal features an equestrian themed front, modelled in silver plate with a hidden stamp inside. The top bar pushes to the centre to reveal a stamp. This would have been used to sign letters, cards and documents. This piece can also be worn as a pendant and makes a great statement around the neck. This quality antique Edwardian Albert chain features a T-bar with a double dog clip fastening, modelled in 9 carats. Each component and link is fully hallmarked with 375 and 9 for 9 karat gold. The T-bar, dog clips and chain are also marked with the markers mark WHC and the piece is dated to Chester 1909. This chain would have been originally used to attach a pocket watch to the wearer's clothing. The chain was named after Prince Albert, who was said to have been fond of wearing watch chains during the Victorian period. The dog clip would have been used to attach the pocket watch too, and the T-bar would go through a buttonhole of a waistcoat to secure in place. 
Today, these are often worn as necklaces and the clips can be used to hang a pendant, such as a seal fob, from around the neck. Here we have an Albertina watch chain, very similar to the Albert, the only difference being that typically the Albertina is more decorative and was worn by women. They usually include design motifs that were quintessential to the Victorian era. These include tassels, hearts, fobs and balls, all which were heavily decorated with chased gold work or deeper ornate engravings. This love heart centre on this Albertina chain creates a very feminine look with engravings on both sides. We hope you enjoyed watching our video on the history of fobs and watch chains through the eras. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment.